browser and ground folks this is another service call this customer called us a few minutes ago said that the furnace it wasn't turning on but when it did turn on it was making a weird sound like a scraping sound instantly guys what i did was i turned the system off but before i turned it off i was able to look at the fault code this came out of a goodman furnace guys and the fault code was error code six guys error code six on these 90 percent goodman units either means that the fuse is open or you have um, a rollout switch open now guys i checked my rollout switches near the burners and the rollout switches which are typically resettable the rollout switches wasn't tripped but however guys i checked the safety switches near the blower guys these switches aren't rollout switches technically these are blower limit switches i believe i explained this on previous videos but guys if you see a switch like this which is typically non-resettable by the way if you see a switch like this near the blower housing the purpose for this guys i think this is a little bit redundant personally but the purpose of these switches if the blow motor does lock up and you don't have air and as a result you have your blower run without the fan the housing itself will get hot and that will cause this to open up so th think about this guys as a limit switch just for your blower area this isn't really necessary because you do have a limit switch um, near your burners but I guess this is another way for the unit to know that something's going on with the fan motor. But guys, in this scenario, our fan motor, it looks like they put in a rescue motor here. And guys, I looked at this account. We actually didn't come out here for like the past five years. So we knew this customer's info, but I don't know the work that was done here. But it looks like the blow motor they, that was in here was a rescue motor. This motor was burning hot. And also guys, Surprisingly, the squirrel cage wasn't broken, but as soon as I tried to spin the squirrel cage by hand, you know, with the power off, I heard a scraping sound. So initially, guys, I thought the squirrel cage was uh, was broken and that was causing this motor to sag. But I took this out, guys, and surprisingly, my squirrel cage is still intact. But this motor, once again, was burning hot. But what I found, guys, when I took that motor out, I found the little screw in the in the bolt here that clamps the bracket onto the motor this was loose now guys like i said this customer said the unit has been running fine for heat and ac for a few years so i know no one came out here recently to do anything motor related but guys what we did in this case instead of going with another oem or instead of going with another rescue motor and bracket i just went to my local supply house and i got a oem guys I'm pretty sure this is what was in here from the get-go but guys there's nothing wrong with these rescue motors the only thing with the rescue motor is if you have an oem blow motor guys that you take out that has the bracket built onto the motor you have to use an external bracket and calibrate it and make sure everything is snug but in this case guys our bracket was loose but i didn't want to take any chances even though i'm going to keep the same squirrel cage I really didn't want to take a chance on keeping that motor. I don't know what happened. Nothing looks cross-wired or, you know, nothing looked, looked irregular, so to say. But I just didn't want to take a chance of reusing that same bracket in the motor. So we just got our OEM. I'm going to pop this back in and I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, here you go, guys. This is part two. We got our new OEM motor put in. I reused, I reused the same 3A screws that was on the old motor. And the only two things I kept is the squirrel cage and the screws everything else is brand new another thing guys whenever you do any motor related repairs always replace the cap the old cap is downstairs i'm going to pop a new 20 microfarad cap in guys and once again the squirrel cage surprisingly was okay when i got here guys this squirrel cage is already i'm not sure if you can see the indentations but there was like literally there was a bunch of scuff marks on the left side here and like this squirrel cage was way off any single time guys like we see unbalanced squirrel cages they always break but we, we lucked out here guys and the squirrel cage wasn't broken and guys we just put the new squirrel cage in and guys rule of thumb when you do blower motors always if you can help it try to work with as much space as you guys possibly can for instance in most people's basements everything's tight they put cabinets and furniture near the furnace guys i always recommend taking the housing and the old motor out either outside or near your truck 
work with as much space as you guys possibly can because from my experience, the more tighter spaces you work with and the more you try to do, most likely you're gonna lose some tools or lose that one screw that could screw up your whole job. So that's just my preference. I like taking motors outside and just assemble everything. The only thing I really have to do now is go downstairs and slide this bad boy in, put our circuit board in, wire this thing up and we're good to go. But once again, guys, this isn't a knock on rescue motors. Like I said, we've been putting in these rescue motors and um, brackets in for a long time. But like I said, for some reason, this thing was loose just like that. And like, instead of me taking a chance to just tighten this thing up, you know, recalls are a thing. And like I said, the more you do it, the less you want to have recalls because I got a feeling that this could come back to screw me over right when we're in the middle of a job. Not, you know, <laughs> on the other side of town. So guys, there you have it. Whenever you see an opportunity to make things right, always try to do it the first time, regardless of how you feel or if it's inconvenient. Guys, always just try to make things right. You know, you just don't want to band-aid and cause a, a bigger nightmare down the line for you. So there you have it, guys. I put a new motor in, OEM, and I'm gonna wire everything up when I get downstairs. See you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, we just fired her up. And she's rocking and rolling. We just had our, put our new trap in. And guys, by the way, these are my pride and joys here. This is my angle needle nose. I believe I got this from Harbor Freight, but I use these specifically on these 90 percenters to take these hose clamps out. But whatever you guys use, rock it out. But I like using my angle needle nose, and as you can see been through a long journey but guys there you go new motor I gotta go upstairs well, I'm gonna put the doors back on here in a second I'm gonna go upstairs check our supply temps make sure everything is rocking and rolling upstairs this customer already put in a new filter so we're good to go there but yeah guys like I said when I got here that squirrel cage is definitely unbalanced and it was scraping against the housing and I was getting six error codes. I was getting the flash six. And that is open rollout slash control fuse. My fuse is okay. But once again, guys, my lower limit. Let me see if you guys can see it here. My lower limit there, you see the yellow and purple wire. That is, that is what was open, but that was only because this, this blower motor couldn't move air due to the bracket being loose and due to the squirrel cage um, not being balanced. So I took that out, got ourselves a new motor, new setup. Everything's tightened, everything's rocking and rolling. There you guys have it. Peace out. I'll see you guys in the next one.